estimation of copper in brass. Brass is an alloy. Alloy means homogeneous mixture of two or more elements with metallic properties. Brass is a combination of copper, zinc, iron, tin and lead. The major constituent of brass is copper. We have to estimate amount of copper by iodometric method. Reason of adopting iodometric titrations are the iodometric titrations are rapid and quantitative. What is iodometric titration? The liberated iodine in a chemical reaction is titrated against standard sodium thiosulfate solution using star as an indicator. To estimate amount of copper in brass, first we have to prepare brass solution. Brass solution can be prepared by dissolving brass sample in nitric acid. The reason of using nitric acid to dissolve brass sample is the dissolution of brass sample can take place at room temperature and oxides of nitrogen can be eliminated easily. But you need not to prepare brass solution. We will provide the prepared brass solution in 250 ml standard flask. After collecting the brass sample, you have to dilute this brass solution up to the mark using distilled water and mix well for uniform concentration. We put out 25 ml of brass solution into your conical flask. Then add ammonium hydroxide. The reason of adding ammonium hydroxide is to neutralize mineral acid. Since the brass solution was prepared from nitric acid, suppose you didn't neutralize mineral acid, that mineral acid nitric acid decomposes sodium thiosulfate solution and so responsible for liberation of extra iodine. That's why we have to neutralize mineral acid by adding ammonium hydroxide. How will you confirm that whether mineral acid has been neutralized or not? So this blue solution of brass turns to bluish white PPT. So look at this bluish white PPT. So this bluish white PPT indicates that we have neutralized mineral acid. This is due to the formation of cupric hydroxide. Then add two small testicles of acetic acid. The reason of adding acetic acid is to maintain weak acid medium because iodine titrations are rapid and quantitative in slightly acidic medium and are neutral solutions. In strong alkaline medium or acidic medium, the oxidation of sodium thiosulfate will not proceed by a single reaction. That's why we have to maintain weak acid medium. Then add one test to full of 10% of potassium iodide solution. Before addition of potassium iodide solution, make sure that your burette should be filled with sodium thiosulfate solution. So in addition of potassium iodide solution, look at the change in color. The blue solution of brass turns to dark brown color. This is due to the liberation of iodine. Iodine is liberated due to reduction of cupric to cuprous. An equivalent amount of iodine is liberated. Here iodine is liberated only due to, due to reduction of cupric ions to cuprous. That's why we are neutralized mineral acid by adding ammonium hydroxide. Otherwise, that nitric acid is also responsible for the liberation of iodine. Then titrate agonist standard sodium thiosulfate solution taken in a burette. But we have to use indicator to indicate the end of the reaction. But in this experiment, we have to add indicator towards the end point. Suppose if you add in the beginning, so it forms, starts forms, what insoluble starts iodine complex and color changes, that is disappearance of blue black color is very gradual. That's why we have to add starch towards the end point or 
in the beginning the concentration of iodine is more if I add starch the iodine is absorbed on collagen starch particles this absorption is maximum at higher concentration then desorption of iodine has to react with the sodium thiosulfate solution that reaction is not quantitative that's why I would add towards the end point end point means this dark brown color changes to light yellow color or star yellow color changes to this light yellow color after getting light yellow color add 3 ml of starch indicator this yellow color indicates the concentration of iodine is less in addition of indicator you can see the change in color that is we we'll get blue black color this blue black color is due to the formation of starch iodine complex cutting the titration with drop wise till the disappearance of this blue black color titration with drop wise till it changes to permanent white color so this white color is due to the formation of cuprous iodide this compound was formed on addition of potassium iodide solution but this color was lost by iodine as iodine reacts with sodium thiosulfate solution the intensity of the dark brown color decreases so on decreases on addition of sodium thiosulfate solution when iodine tends to zero we get this color the starch is not responsible for the end point this starch is used to indicate the end of the reaction even in the absence of uh, indicator we will get this color but it's not possible to know at what point iodine tends to zero that's why you have to use starch to indicate the end of the reaction after getting this white color take out the burette from the stand read the values and use that burette readings for the calculation of amount of copper in grass